Hey guys, it's KJ48 and welcome back to my RimWorld Let's Play. This is Alpha 10. We're on Season 5. This is Episode 3. And let me correct myself. This is Alpha 10C. Uh, there have been a couple updates to fix a couple things. And we're going to talk about one right now. Uh, my buddy Puddle Jumper from the stream uh, got in touch with me and said that these timetable things that he told me about... Like, if you remember last episode, I had um, work as every single square except for the last one. And that should be joy. Now, he told me that uh, it would need some work. It could possibly be the last two or three hours for joy. So let's make the last three hours for joy. And we'll see how this setup works. That means they'll sleep uh, through the night. Then they will get up at 6, at 6 a.m. Work till whatever 2200 hours is. I'm not good with uh, the military time. Uh, or whatever, 1800 hours. Then they'll, they'll do recreational activity and then go back to sleep. So let's go ahead and copy that. And we're going to see how that joy works. Okay. Um... Their priorities were all looking pretty good, but I actually went ahead and reworked some of these uh, buildings to try to make them look a little bit better. Right here is going to be my cooking area. Um, it's actually bigger than it needs to be, but that's okay. Uh, so what I'm going to do is, I'm going to have the door uh, yeah, right here. I want the door to line up with this door. This is going to be the freezer area, so the door will come in here. This is where all the freezer stuff will go. And then the vent will come out to here to vent out all the um, all the heat out here and keep the freezer cold. Then this is going to be a door that's going to go into a dining room. And um, yeah, that's all I've done so far. Let's take a look at our guy's moods really quickly before we get started. By the way, before I started, I went and looked for the mods. Yeah, the mods I use are not updated yet. Um, so let's take a look at what my character's needs are. They all look pretty okay. Uh, well, he's stressed. Neutral and stressed, so um, we're gonna have to keep an eye on that. Um, Doug is just hanging out, chilling like a villain. Uh, that's okay because he's stressed. We got Bell up here who's doing the mining. Um, that's wonderful. We are going to need to. I want this mined out first. So actually, let's uh, let's cut this off right there. I need this mined out first. I need everything mined out. As a matter of fact, can I set anyone else to mining? Uh, well, he uh, Beck is our grower. He's got to grow more than anything. Is he a good miner? Uh, he's an awful miner, but he does have a passion for it. Uh, so he will grow, and then he'll construct, and then he will mine. Uh, you are the miner, and you are the crafter. We want you to continue crafting. Uh, we do not have a lot of bricks, so yeah, you need to continue crafting. By the way, some people pointed out, a few people pointed out that when I was looking at my wood stone cutter's table, uh, the, pro the reason no one would, uh, would work with it is because I set the hit points on 53, which means that they would not use any blocks with over 53 hit points. So that was, that was my bad. Um, yeah, so I, I shouldn't mess with this at all. Zero to one, yeah, that's fine. Le the, yeah, the radius is good. Now this is, that stone, that stone cutter's table's set up just, just fine. Um, they have bedrooms. I don't know why they're still sleeping outside. Let's, uh, go ahead and set owners for the beds. Oh, look, they actually got up and went in the bed. Interesting. And we are going to go ahead and make another wooden bed. Right here. There we go. We really need another bedroom set up, too. Alright, Belle, you do it. Uh, Doug is crafting the door. There we go. Automatic door here because this is a highly used area. Um, he's going ahead and making walls. Now he's eating. Beck is harvesting. That's good. We really need that food. What we need is a cooking table. Uh, oh boy, raid. Hold on. All right, we got one guy here. We're going to try and capture this guy for sure. So let's come on up here. Let's wait until he attacks. I don't think he's going to attack right away. We will flip the switch on that. Now all my guys flip switching things are at one, so they should... Yeah, there we go. Okay. Now we're just waiting for them to attack. We should have plenty of power. Okay, they're beginning their assault. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to grab all our guys. And draft them. And bring them right here. Also, some some people, some things people are talking about is pay attention to these things over here. So I will. Um, uh, you have one nutrition worth of food. Uh, my food's dangerously low. I need a research project, no trading capacity, and learn time controls. Got it. All right, who's my melee guy? Um, Doug, you're my melee guy. So you're going to come right down here. 
You know what? I don't even think I want the turret to hit him. Flip that switch. I don't want the turret to hit him. I can take him just fine with my own guys. One thing I do need to do is I need to find out who the doctor is. Um, yeah. Okay, you're the doctor. Are you a good doctor? I forget. Yes, you're an excellent doctor. Okay, so who's that? Bell? Let's take Bell and... Uh, re we'll put Doc at the end. I also forgot to rename these guys. I do need to go through and rename these guys. I'm definitely going to re rename someone after Puddle Jumper. Uh, Puddle Jumper's name on, on YouTube is different to Puddle Jumper. So I won't, um... I won't name him Pu Puddle Jumper, but I am going to name him something. Uh, I'm going to name him whatever Puddle Jumper's name is on YouTube. Okay. Here we go. Shoot him up. They're not even hitting him. Alright, melee. Alright. Uh, why don't you guys come down here and shoot from this side so you don't accidentally hit Doug. Okay, never mind. You're good. Okay, undraft. Um, Doug, how are you? Uh, oh, Doug's already messed up. He's the guy with cataract. I could, I, you know, if this guy dies, it wouldn't be the worst thing in the world. Alright, he got stabbed. Yeah, a bunch of stabs and cuts. He should be okay. He should be okay. The reason I didn't use the turret on this guy is because when you use the turret, uh, he gets shot up really badly. Um, he did get some gunshots from the pistol, but the turret's, uh, way worse. Alright, so let's go ahead and make this a prisoner's room. And we will set this for whoever. Uh, that's unknown. That's for Bell. Um, and we're also going to need a medical bed. Man, we do not have enough beds. Um, okay, whatever. That'll do. Alright, so Doug, you are going to capture this dude. Uh, capture. Can't capture. Undraft and then capture? There we go. Okay. Alright, we got medicine. Yeah, we got quite a bit of medicine. We need to get this stockpile inside. Stuff is going to be deteriorating. Our medicine is deteriorating. Uh, raw resources do not deteriorate. Uh, well, wood deteriorates, but it doesn't seem like the other stuff does. So what we want to do is make a... It should be technically indoors. It is. So what we want to do is we're going to make a quick stockpile indoors. Just, I don't know, just somewhere. Uh, I guess right here will be okay for now. And we're going to cancel out everything off the stockpile. And we are going to bring in uh, medicine. And wood. That's a raw resource. Raw resources. Uranium. Oh, there we go. It's right there. Right in my face. Okay. Okay, Bell. You need to... Let's take a look at this guy. I'm pretty sure we're going to re re recruit this guy no matter what. He is lazy and psychically sensitive. That's pretty bad. Uh, overall, he's not great, but I need him because whatever. I need him for something. Anything. So, what we're going to do is we're going to go on prisoner. We're going to chat him up we're gonna give him medicine and we are going to he's gonna get food doctor's care gets medicine and attempt to recruit or for oh so you can't attempt to recruit our friendly chatting anymore you know before this update i was under the impression that basically before this update you had friendly chat and you had to recruit as separate options i figured that re attempting to recruit took time you know, I figure that makes sense. You know, you don't want to recruit. Why would you try and recruit somebody if you have no chance? It would make sense to wait until you have a chance and then try and recruit them. Because I thought from a gameplay standpoint, it would make sense that if you try to recruit them, it's going to take some more time. I was educated by my wonderful viewers that no, uh, trying to recruit them does not take any more time. Uh, which I thought trying to recruit was an absolute waste of time at that point. Uh, if you're going to friendly chat them, you know, that should just be trying to recruit. Should be all rolled into one ball. Why have two separate? Why have two separate? options for the same thing but now you either friendly chat or attempt to recruit that's pretty i really like that i re that's good that's a great that's a uh, a great change all right bell you are going to heal this guy we're going to try and save him okay come on 
No, 97%. Oh my goodness. Man, I'm not putting Belle in any combat situations. <laughs> She's ridiculous. God. That's awesome. That's just awesome. Got cargo pods. Let's go take a look. Um, okay, food, food, food. Very good. Let's, uh... We got a lot of stuff over here. Alright. Yeah. Yeah, let's unforbidden this. And unforbidden this. And grab one of our colonists. I really miss my UI up here, man. Like, really badly. Uh, Beck. Get your ass out of bed. And grab the prepared foods. Okay. Alright, Doug's doing good. Coley's doing good. Now, I'm still confused on what turning a prisoner bed into a medical bed does. But I'm going to do it because why not? Alright, Doug's fully healed. Alright, we need major, major hauling done. Uh, you are a grower and then a hauler. You are a miner. You're going to stay a miner. Um, and you are a constructor, a miner, and a hauler, and a crafter. Uh, yeah, we really need him to craft, but we don't need him to craft that bad. What we really need him to do is haul. And forget about construction. We just need hauling. We need, to, we need to haul some of these rocks out of the way. I try not to haul too many of these rocks at one time because it's too much for them to do. But the thing is, it also slows them down while walking through these hallways. So I need to haul the rocks that are in the way. Especially rocks that are in doorways. Okay, why is there no crafting going on? Who's my crafter? Oh, that's right. I took them off crafting. Okay, sounds good. Sounds good. Uh, okay. Yeah, you know what we should do also? We should set up another... Oh, Jesus! He's having a mental break. He's trying to break out. Um, it didn't say anything about him having a mental break. Yeah, he's broken. I'm not sure what I can do to make them more, like, not break. Uh, what are their needs? Oh, he's broken, so I don't know what his problem was. Um, obviously, beauty's a problem. Oh, you know what? I don't have a warden. That's why. No, I have a warden. Why isn't he wardening? Hmm. I'm not sure. Alright, well, that's a problem. Doug, get back here. Uh, damn it! And my melee guy's gone. I don't want to shoot him. Doug, get in there and melee his ass. Doug's just getting hammered. He's a pretty good melee guy, though. Uh, Doug. He can't. Oh, there's no door. Shoot. Alright, one second. Um, you know what? Let's make a... How much marble does it take? 25? We don't have 25. Alright, let's put a wood door in it for now. Jesus. What a pain. So what can I do? Like, I didn't see anyone have a chat with them. I'm gonna have to keep an eye on the prisoners. They're really, like... I had that happen in my, um... I had that happen in my, uh... uh get up, Doug. Yeah, I know he needs treatment. Just relax. I had that happen in my, sh my stream game as well. Okay. Okay, Bell. Alright. Is she gonna treat him? Nope. Oh, damn it. Wait. Reserved by Beck. 
Holy is reserved by Beck. Beck, what are you doing? Oh, he's feeding him. Okay. Man, this is rough. This is rough. Bella, you gotta heal him. Treat him. Jesus. I'm not sure what I need, what I need to do. I don't know. Alright, first of all, we gotta see who our warden is. Um, our warden is Beck. So let's keep an eye on Beck. Oh, wow. It automatically turned this wooden bed into a prisoner bed. Did you see that? That's pretty cool. Alright, what's your problem? Hideous environment. Uh, he's pained. Cramped environment. Ooh, cramped environment? Really? It's really closed in? Oh, that's a problem. Is that? Does everybody feel like that? Oh, these bedrooms might not be big enough anymore, guys. Ooh, that's a problem. Okay, well, let's cancel all of this. Ooh, I didn't, I didn't realize that. So let's make these bedrooms a little bit bigger. I didn't realize that. The bedrooms are a problem. Uh, so we need to haul these out of here. We also need to clean. Let's wait until everybody wakes up. How's everybody's joy level now? I didn't, I didn't look. Uh, needs. All right, everybody's joy level is barely there. Um, they are joy deprived. Let's see if they're all like that. Yeah, that might not be enough joy for everybody. Let's go to timetables and put joy on for a fourth hour. See if that helps. All right, Becky, you gonna chat him up? Okay, there you go. That should help. Very comfortable, convinced by warden. Okay. All right, so... Oh, wait, I tried to haul the wrong stuff. Forget about hauling this stuff. Haul this stuff. Beck, haul this stuff. No, haul the stuff that's in the way. No, pick up the survival rifle. Oh, my God. Haul that. Haul that. Haul that. Haul that. Haul that. Oh, he's chatting him up. Okay, so the convinced by the word thing. I don't know, maybe Beck was... Was Beck hurt earlier? Beck might have been... No, I think Doug was hurt. I'm not sure why I wasn't chatting him up, but he wasn't. Um, so, yeah, cramped environment is a problem. There's no doubt about that. Let's go ahead and cancel this for now. No, 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 we can do that. We can do that. I don't want to mind too much because he'll be able to get out. Yeah, so the bedrooms used to be four by five and that used to be a perfectly sized bedroom, but uh, apparently that's not the case anymore. All right, Beck, where are you? All right, Beck, hall. And then haul. And then haul. And then haul. <laughs> Terrible mood. Beck. Okay. Sorry, Beck. Um, you know what, Beck? Why don't we just take your turntable, uh, timetable off and let you just do anything for now? I didn't realize as I was forcing him... As I was forcing Beck to haul, he didn't, he wasn't allowed to do his leisure activity. So now Beck should be just hanging out. Now he's going to sleep. Okay, that'll make anybody happy. Alright, how you doing there? Uh, hideous environment. Joy deprived. Ooh, but I can't force him to do joy. Well, what would he do in a room like that anyway? Okay, so he needs Joy. So let's take a look at Joy. And let's make him a, a can we make him a billiard table? No, it takes cloth. Okay, let's make him a, let's make him a chess table. This could be turned back into a 
bed for Doug. Uh, oh, he's sleeping on the floor. Let's turn that off of... Yeah, back. Okay, back. <clears throat> back. You could stay there. Okay, who's gonna craft? Who's gonna craft? Belle, why don't you craft? Uh, not a constructor. Who's got the poor mood? Oh, Beck. Okay, Beck. I'm sorry. Sorry, sorry, sorry. You do your thing, Beck. We'll get someone else to make that. Doug? You craft, bro. So what is Beck doing? Having private time. Okay. I guess that's his thing. Uh, we should definitely make them their own chess table as well. Well, he can play chess with the prisoner. The thing is, I can't force the inmates to, like, do fun activity. I'm assuming they're just going to do it on their own. Beck, how's your mood? Still stressed. Uh, his joy... Oh, his joy is way up there. They don't like... The beauty thing is getting on their problem. Getting on their... Alright. There's just not enough time to clean up, you know? Oh, boy. Why isn't that thing being finished? Why would you make it, like, that much and not finish it? There you go. Alright, Doug. Okay, so what time of the day is it? I, I don't... Uh, 15th of July, 55... It's a year. Clear outdoors. Does it not say the time of day, or...? Because I'm assuming... Um, I'm assuming Doug is going to be doing some fun activity pretty soon. You know what, Doug? Why don't you... Why don't you just play some chess? Can't make him. I can't make him play chess? Huh. He's still hauling. I don't know why he's not... Oh, he's going for a walk. Okay. They're doing their joy activities now. And I don't know if this guy is doing joy activities. Does he need someone to play chess with? Can he do it by himself? I don't know. I'm not sure how the chess table works. The ancient game of chess. Fun for a few hours here and there. Even playing alone. Okay. So yeah, you should be able to play alone. How does he feel? Uh, needs. Hey, he's got no joy. I don't know how to... I don't know how to give this guy joy. He's going to freak out again. I'm not sure. If you guys have any ideas on what I can do for this guy to make him do joyous stuff... Uh, I don't know. I don't know what else to do with him. Uh, still hideous environment. Okay. Let's set this to a home region, just to make sure. And we have a raid. Alright, these guys are going to prepare. There's two of them. We're going to use the gun on these guys for sure. Man, I just, there's, I don't find there's enough time in this game to do everything. Like, people are pissed. <laughs> and this guy's the real problem, because I can't force him to do anything, like, fun, you know? Like, what am I, what am I supposed to do about this guy? I, d I don't know. I can't tell him what to do. He's got no joy, but he's not doing anything with the chess set. Is there anything other than the chess set he can do? Um... You know, horse, horseshoe pins? That's not going to do anything in a room like that. And I don't have the cloth for the billiards table. So, I'm not sure what to do. Let's see if this room is big enough now. Um, hideous environment. Okay, so... I've been enjoying myself so much. I love it. Very comfortable. Okay, so this person's cool. Belle is cool. Uh, so, Belle... Yeah, so that, that's cool. Okay. So Bell is cool with this setup, so let's copy this setup and paste it to this one, see if see if Beck will be cool with that setup as well. And those that room seems big enough, so I'm thinking the rooms now need to be, what is that, a 5x5? Five five? Yes, that's a 5x5 five five room. Okay. Alright, so the rooms need to be 5x5. Five five. I'm still not having any crafting done. Who is my crafter? Doug is my crafter, but he's hauling. All right, why don't you go back to crafting? We need that crafting done. Okay. All right. Yeah, um, 
I seem to be like having more stuff to do than I could possibly get done. Uh, my guys seem to be doing okay, but um, I don't know how I don't know what to do about this prisoner. Uh, he won't do anything to fill up his joy, and I don't know. Uh, beauty's gone, comfort's gone. I don't know what to do about this guy. I, I have no clue. Um, so let me know in the comments, guys. That would be awesome. And uh, that's going to be it for episode three. We'll see you next time for episode four. Till then, take it easy.